Hi dudes, how are you? This is Suresh from Coimbatore. I am very happy to meet you through this video. First of all, I would like to thank the KET management for providing me lab facility to demonstrate this practically. Today, we will see about the load test on transformer. So, this is one of my subscriber asked me to demonstrate about load test of transformer. Today, we will see the load test on transformer in three different parts. First, I would like to tell you about the basics of transformer and the precautions and connections of transformer in the, as the first part. Second, I will try to do practically and demonstrate how to take the readings in transformer. Third, we will try to give you the explanations and how to calculate the performance. It means the efficiency of the transformer practically by doing load test. When I say load test, the load is connected in the transformer particularly in the secondary side normally we call secondary and primary secondary means low voltage side when you connect when you want to do a load test secondary should have a low voltage and primary should have the high voltage normally we will call this as the lv and hv so low voltage means where we can give more load or where we can connect more load low high voltage means where the load cannot be connected or less amount of load. Normally, in practical transformers, what we are seeing in the distribution side, the low voltage will be in the secondary. Say, for example, 11 kV bar 400 volt, where 11 kV will be in the primary side, say HV side, and 400 voltage, which is a 3 phase voltage, will be given for the distribution purposes as 400 volt. This is connected as a load terminal. And when we go to the transformer, list, first I will tell you what is transformer. Transformer is a static device which transfer the power from one circuit to the another circuit without change in the frequency as well as power. It means the power and frequency is kept constant both in the primary side as well as in the secondary side. This is the symbol of a transformer where primary side we have uh, I mean the coil, the number of turns in the primary is higher and number of turns in the secondary is lower. It means it is the step down transformer. Similarly, we can have step up transformer also. For example, I told you that the power is constant. Let me demo tell you by proof. Here we considering, I am considering a 2 kVA transformer. It is the rating of the transformer is given in kVA. And so many people are having the doubt that and in so many interviews the question has been asked why transformer is rated in KVA. I tell you the answer in the next part. Now we will see here 2000 volt ampere 2 KVA means 2000 volt ampere divided by 230 volt which is my primary voltage. Therefore the current in the primary side is 8.6 amperes. Similarly go to the secondary side the same 2000 VA divided by 115 volt therefore we will get 17.2 amperes it means when we have the low voltage that is the chance for giving more load so when i say primary power and secondary power primary power is considered as 2 kva secondary power is considered as 2 kva therefore 2 kva equal to 2 kva it means that the power is constant as well as the frequency is kept as constant as 50 hertz this is the basics and fundamental of transformer now we will go to the work table and i will tell you the circuit diagram as well as how to give connections what are the precautions to be taken in the next part before going to the table i would like to tell you the or demonstrate the circuit diagram the picture what you are seeing here is the practical circuit diagram for load test on single phase transformer say this is the phase and this is the neutral it means the input supply is given here as 230 volt 50 gigahertz ac supply via a switch and also a fuse is provided because for protection purposes the same supply is given to the transformer which is called auto transformer or we will call it as single phase variac which will give the variable voltage the output of this transformer is the variable voltage is given to the transformer primary side via an ammeter and a an watt meter and also a voltmeter is connected across the primary coil to measure the 
primary voltage otherwise the higher voltage otherwise the high voltage and this ammeter is used to measure the primary current consumed by the transformer also this watt meter will give you the power consumed by the primary side of the transformer and this is called core the two line which we are seeing is called core a coil separated by a core and we have a secondary coil here we have you see the compare the see the windings here i have less number of turns it means it is low voltage i mean step down transformer this step down transformer output voltage is measured via voltmeter as done in the primary side and it is connected to a load when i say load we can connect r type that is resistive load inductive load or capacitive load for my demonstration purpose i am going to connect a resistive load via switches and fuses this switch is called T uh, tpsc that is double pole single throw switch this ammeter is connected in series in order to measure the load current or the secondary current of the transformer this is what about the circuit diagram arrangement of a single phase transformer next we'll see and go to the next part for continuation of practical video yes now we are near to the work table here i have given a complete setup arrangements for doing practical test we will tell i will tell you clearly how to do connections and how to do how to do take readings practically in my next video as a continuation until then bye bye